This is the story of my friend, Jessica So Young Kim. Out of my 22 years of life, I lived in three different countries and lived in 15 houses. My family started off in Asia and ended up in North America. This is a story of how my family immigrated to the United States of America. 11월 22일 1993년 새벽에 저는 대한민국에서 김선으로 태어났습니다. My family moved to America in 1997 because my dad was assigned to the Hyundai Laboratory in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Because I spoke Korean at home and English at school, I was able to communicate in both languages within a short period of time. On the other hand, my younger brother didn't talk until he was four. My parents were extremely worried. However, looking back at it now, we believe that being exposed to both languages caused a collision for him. I was a very timid child, so I had a tough time getting used to the new lifestyle. I refused to go to school because I was nervous and scared. I had headaches, stomach aches, and would even throw up sometimes. Apparently, my parents sent me to the doctor because they thought I had some kind of illness. 2002년에 우리 가족은 경기도로 이사를 갔습니다. 편안한 생활을 벗어나 새로운 환경에서 새 친구들을 사귀게 하는 것은 힘든 일이었습니다. 저는 한국어를 할수 있었지만 같은 반 친구들과는 달랐습니다. 받아 쓰기에서도 항상 낮은 점수를 받고 숙제를 할 때에도 남들보다 시간이 더 오래 걸렸습니다. 이러한 이유로 다시 학교에 가는 것이 꺼려졌습니다. 저에겐 미국에서의 선생님, 학교, 그리고 동네가 더 좋았습니다. 하지만 다행히 시간이 지나면서 점차 새로운 곳에 적응을 하며 친구들도 많이 사귈 수 있게 되었습니다. After living in both countries, my parents preferred the living style and education system of the U.S. They decided to immigrate to America. The process took several years, so before it was too late for my brother and me to learn English, we moved to Canada in 2007. A year later, we were notified that the immigration process was completed. After finishing up all the documentation, we packed our stuff and drove from London, Ontario to Statesboro, Georgia. It was difficult interpreting what people were saying because of the strong southern accent. It took me a while to get used to it. Getting used to all the tension was something new as well. There weren't many Asian people in Statesboro, so they would always assume that we were Chinese. Students would say ching chong ching behind their backs and make fun of us. In 2009, we moved to Noonan, Georgia because of my dad's job. After graduating from high school in 2012, I moved to Athens in order to attend the University of Georgia. I am currently majoring in mechanical engineering. Within 22 years, I changed my name and country of citizenship. Last April, my brother and I became citizens of America. From Soyeon Kim, I became Jessica Soyeon Kim. Dramatic changes in life can be scary and even questionable. However, over the course of immigration, I came up with a life motto. Everything happens for a reason. Living in America helped me with English. Living in Korea helped me with Korean and to build on my identity. And coming back to America, it shaped me to be who I am today. Even though I may have wished that it wouldn't have happened at that time, I'm glad everything happened. So this is a story of how my family immigrated to America. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.